Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac and we're back for day 18 of To Planet Mars in 30 days. I'm not too sure how I should do that intro anymore. Planet Mars sounds a bit... Uh, I don't see, it doesn't roll off the tongue like to the moon in 30 days. So, But then you can't really go to the Mars in 30 days. I, I, I don't know. Either way, I'm going to get some wheat because I'd like some food and because the uh, mobs all around. So let's get all this stuff. Uh, as I promised between this episode and last, I have managed to get myself a ton of false field emitters. And I have put the... Um, the force field emitter energy shield armor on every single piece of my modular power suit, which is pretty flipping awesome. I also put the uh, the shock absorber. It says, with some servo springs and padding, you should be able to negate a portion of the fall damage. So now we take pretty much zero fall damage. So when we do this, and then just drop, no fall damage. Nice. And we get a, a cool little sound effect as well, which, uh, which I quite like. So I've done that. And I've also made myself a second uh, oxygen tank. I've got my first one over here. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go to the moon. I'm going to leave this one on me. And I'm going to leave this one in here. And as soon as this one runs out, we're going to swap out. That way, we should always have some oxygen. We should never run out. We should always be, yeah, be good to go. So, I think, without further ado, let's get ourselves some wheat. Turn it into bread. In the most awkward way possible. There we go. 25 bread. Let's fight off whoever's behind us. No one's behind us. And let's go to the moon. I'm pretty sure we got everything. Got my sword. I got my pickaxe. I can't see any mobs, but that's fine. It's a good thing. I think it's daytime on the moon. So what, uh, what you're looking for, for those who don't know, when you arrive on the moon, you're looking for a crater that leads down to a dungeon. Uh, we were quite lucky. There's one uh, pretty close by. And they're not that hard to, to miss if you look at the minimap. Like you can see, uh, I think it's over here, this thing here. You look on the minimap, you can see it's pretty easy to distinguish this crater from all the other craters on the moon. So it's not too hard to find. And once you've found it, just uh, just go down. I mean, it's as simple as that. And try not to die whilst you're down there. So these guys are pretty dangerous. As you can see, my uh, false plate shielding is doing rather nicely. I'm going to try and get rid of these um, things as I go. I should have probably bought some torches. But hey. There we go. Normal torches, for those who don't know, again, don't work on the moon. You've got to use uh, special special moon torches that are made with glowstone. And, ooh, what's in here? A floppy disk, a music disk, and some saddles. Wow, that's just that's just brilliant. Well, actually, I'm going to get some torches because it's very dark down here. And I don't want to go through a whole dungeon where you guys can't see anything. So I'm going to go make some torches real quick. They're not all that hard to make. You've just got to make, I think, the glowstone torches, uh, In to be honest. So we should probably also have ourselves, like... I don't know, we could carry a book around with us that takes us back home, but then we'd just lose it whenever we went back home, so there's kind of no point in that, I don't think, so we'll just, we'll just head on home, it's, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, so if we look up, I think they're called glowstone torches. Uh, yeah, these guys here. Glowstone torch, it's just a piece of glowstone and a stick. So we'll head on over here, we'll go, boom, we'll make like a billion of those if we have enough wood, which we do, so. A plunk. There we go, 24, and boom. Nice, we got a stack and four of these torches. Probably didn't need that many, probably definitely didn't need that many, but it's fine. We, uh, we'll we be fine. Right, let's head on, and let's go and beat some dungeon boss guys. So, we might, uh, what will happen is we'll get to the end, and we should uh, fight, uh, fight a boss and then get a schematic. Now, uh, we might not get the tier 2 rocket schematic. We might get, like, uh, the moon buggy schematic or, or something else. I would like to get the tier 2 rocket schematic straight away because that means we don't have to uh, to search around the moon anymore. But if we don't, all it means is we've got to go fight uh, another set of uh, dungeon stuffs before we can probably go to the moon. Uh, before we go to Mars. So that one was fairly easy, which is quite nice. I'll try to light this place up for you guys. It's, these aren't the brightest of torches. Luckily, these mobs don't seem to be spawning too badly. Ah, oh, but when they do, they seem to be like faster and stronger and harder than ever. There we go. No one gets me. Oh my god. Space skeletons are the worst. They're like super deadly. We've seen him. He's got, he, you probably can't see it there, but he has two two arrows in his hand. I'm just going to fight this guy. Secret trick. Just push everyone into cobwebs and they'll be fine. I almost got a spider in it. Jeez. Yeah, just push everyone to cobwebs and run. <laughs> Top tips with Isaac. Right, okay. Uh, uh, we'll take the gunpowder and the redstone, I guess. We don't really need much of that stuff. Uh, we will light up the path. That skeleton seems to be running away from me, of all things. Oh, oh, this is it. That's the room we want to be in. That's the room with our stuff in. Woo! So, oh, this guy drops the key. Ah, I forgot. Okay. So this guy's going to push us back, I think, constantly. And he's going to fight us. Oh, God. 
And he's got a horrible sound effect with him. The spam, spam attack, spam attack. That's a horribly repeated sound effect. He's dead. Is he dead? That was pretty easily. I'm not going to lie, that was pretty flipping easy. He's pretty much 100% dead. That was like really easy. <laughs> and there we go, the world's biggest key. We got it. Which turns into, I think, the world's smallest key when you put it in your inventory. Did we? Did we get it? We probably did. Um, um, did we uh, pick up a key? Maybe? Ah, it's uh, very nicely not to actually... Wow, look how small that thing is. Jeez, that is... That's mean. <laughs> that is mean how small that is. Okay, look at this. We're gonna we're gonna waddle along holding this key. It just looks weird from first person, like, oh no one's holding the floating key. And then ka-ching. Nice. So we got ourselves the moon buggy schematics. Yeah, I had a feeling we wouldn't get the, the schematics we were after. Uh, let's get rid of all these. Is there anything in here? Single use? We'll take some single use safari nets, I guess. Uh what we, what do we need? We don't need the floppy disk probably or the string. Glass files we can get more of. We'll take some safari nets. These are not uh, that easy to make, I don't think. Yeah, they require a slime ball. They, they're, they're pretty hard. We'll take those guys, and what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to go find ourselves a, uh, a second space dungeon. So, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my way back to the beginning of this place. I'm going to get out, and I'm going to fly around the moon. Oh, Jesus, this is what happens when you don't kill all the spawners. Just run, 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 run. We're going to run. We're going to do nothing but run. We're running away. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go find myself another one of these moon dungeons, and I'll be back in a second once I've got one. Okay, I can see one coming up on the map to my left. Here we go. Here we go. So this is how I usually find them. You can just press X, and it'll bring up the map to, like, full screen, so you can then just fly around in a straight line until you see one pop up. And then we can just sort of drop down and kick some ass. So are we going to... Uh, oh, God, spawners. Spawners, straight up spawners. Let's get rid of these guys. Don't like you. There we go. Throw down some torches. And let's move on, shall we? We got the gist. We know how it goes. There seems to be a lot of... Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, this is a weirdly shaped one. There seems to be quite a lot of... Oh, gosh. I don't like you. Spiderwebs, which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't like... Well, I quite like throwing the mobs in spiderwebs, like I showed you like this here. But uh, as for spiderwebs in general, I am not a huge fan. Okay, I don't want any more creepers. I would not like any more creepers. I would just like to run on and, and get my and get my schematics, if you wouldn't mind. Please? Oh, run, 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 run. Just gonna run. There were a lot of mobs. I'm sure there were a lot of mobs there, but it seems to have gone. We're just gonna run. Oh, gosh, we can't just run. We can just run, 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 run. There we go. Protection. We should have probably eaten before we came in here, but it's fine. We're just gonna kill this guy again, who somehow, for some reason, just picks us up and laughs. Like, ha I can't get you. And he's dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm not quite sure why they don't have a harder boss. I mean... Ta-da! Let's pick up the key. There it is. Let's head on through to here. That's not the way. Is this the way? It must be. We came from that way. Oh, look. That's a really long walk to get to this thing. Usually, it's just, like, adjacent to it like the other one was. Anyway, let's have a look. Flipping moon buggies again? Ah, We'll take the shiny metal ingots because we seem to not have a ton of those. We'll take some more bread. That's always nice. Redstone's good. Music discs, why not? They're pretty rare. And I guess we're going to go back and find ourselves another moon dungeon, guys, because we just didn't didn't find one. I'm pretty scared. We kind of just speed ran this one. It didn't, didn't really fight anyone on the way in. So um, I might just... How, how hard is it to, to dig straight up in this place? pretty hard okay so i'm gonna go back uh through and find fight these guys and uh, make my way out and i'll see you guys at the next at the next the next dungeon all right okay and literally moments later we found another one Woo! it was like this one was really close to the old one actually oh oh it's a chest right here oh look at that some nether quartz there's a lot of nether quartz all blocks there and uh, there's some pretty cool miscraft pages that we can use to do some pretty cool miscraft stuff with uh, with nether ore i guess but uh, until we get there, let's just take some more shiny metal. Let's just try and outrun these guys. I'm going to outrun you all because I got loads of armor and I run really fast. 
and you guys are just too slow. Everyone just too slow. <laughs> oh gosh, as you can see, these dungeons, once you've got full on like power suit armor, these dungeons are fairly easy. The mobs are not that hard. It's pretty pretty quick to just run through the whole thing, especially if you've got this um, the speed upgrade going on. And we'll run past you guys. We should probably stop, fight these guys, get the loot, get the experience. But did this guy like, follow me? Oh, God, I'm getting trapped there. Okay, run, 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 run. Thanks for moving out of the way there, spider. Am I running backwards? I think I'm running backwards. Because I didn't put any glowstone torches down over there. Where are we going? This way. Okay. We got this. We got this. Here we go. Lock this place up. Don't have any more blocks. So we'll put chest down. Chest will do. There we, there we go. <laughs> And here we go, take three. Ah. Yeah, he seems to like to throw you in the corner. I think the idea is supposed to be that he throws you into the lava. It seems to fail like 99% of the time because he's never gotten me into the lava. And I've done this a few times now. And he just does this horrible sound effect over and over and over again. I mean... I mean, I love you, Mod, but could you just make that sound effect just a little bit longer so it's not repeated every three seconds? Yeah, I think the idea is he's supposed to try and throw you into these lava like holes, but he just ends up like throwing you up in the air over and over again. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really work all that well. Okay, key number three. We came in through that way, so it'll be around this corner. Here we go. Throw some lights down because for some reason the glowstone didn't want to work. We should probably take this glowstone, but uh, here we go. Ding! Tier two rocket. Yeah, nice. So we got another music disc. We got a divination sigil, which is pretty flipping awesome. The divination sigil is really cool. We can do some really cool stuff with this. Usually, you've got to, um, you've got to, it's usually found, it can be found in dungeons like this one, but usually it's, you get it by uh, defeating the wither. So that's a, a really nice little bonus there. So we are going to take some of this glowstone to, to compensate for the glowstone used to get here. I'll grab all of this stuff. And then what I'm going to do, guys, is we are going to fly back to the, um, to the waypoint I set up where the miscraft book is, which is, oh, I need to empty. I'll give it a, a one safari now. Grab all you, all you, and we will fly back to the waypoint, which is somewhere on the map. Let's uh, let's go see if we can find it. Uh, yeah, this is the right way. We'll head back out here. Try and run past everyone. Sort of blaze. Run, 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 run. Running without a care. We just run and run and run <laughs> and run. And run. And freedom! <laughs> hey, nice. So we are going to head back to... One of the waypoints. I did put a waypoint down, I'm sure, by the... Um... Oh, crap. I popped! Ah! Okay, well, I'm going to... I think it's this way. I did put a waypoint down by the... Um, by the, the, the buggy. I put a waypoint down that said, Miscraft book. Or linking book. I did put one down. I'm sure of it. So uh, we're gonna head this way and uh, and see if we can find it. But uh, we might be might be a bit out of luck. We are running low on oxygen. So what we can do is we can uh, do a quick switcheroo here. We'll uh, we'll open this bag. We'll switch this out. It doesn't matter if we put some random in there like leather. We'll swap you for you and we'll charge this one up. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to fly back this way. You can see this is where the old one was. I literally flew two seconds in that direction to find it. I'm going to keep flying back this way and hope that I eventually come across our original moon dungeon. Ooh, look at this. This is actually quite a nice timing. This here is a fallen meteor, which we can then... I think we can mine it with a sapphire pick. Uh, this is used to get that uh, meteoric iron, which we then use to make pretty much everything in, uh, in the tier 2 rocket. So I will see if we can break this. This is probably the hardest part about going to Mars. We need to find a lot of this stuff. So we need to go around the moon and find a lot of fallen meteors to get a ton of meteoric iron. But I think if we can eventually break this, maybe one day in the future. Oh, there we go. We got it a little bit. It broke it a little bit. <laughs> this is like the slowest thing ever. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm 99. I'm, I'm kind of sure. I'm 46% sure we can break this with a sapphire pick. My assurity is going down by the second by the fact that this is not breaking. I am now 12% sure that we can uh, we can harvest this meteoric iron. Because this is going... Oh, there we go. We got another, got another bit. We got another bit. <laughs> this, is, this is very slow. We'll just, we'll just zoom in here. This, is, this makes for a very cinematic experience for everyone. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Meteoric iron. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use this uh, heavy duty pickaxe to break these things with the compressed steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to waypoint this. Look here, you're watching me live, uh, waypointing this thing. Meteoric can't spell for crap. There we go. That <laughs> Meteoric Iron. <laughs> that that's fine. That that that's 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 perfect. That is that is perfect. Okay, guys. So yeah, I'm going to continue on heading this way, and hopefully. We will, uh, we will end up back on planet Earth. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so after a lot of uh, flying about and trying to find stuff, I ended up looking at uh, a previous video to find the coordinates because flipping like, look, we were like 500 blocks that way and I was heading over that way and it was just not going to work. So I'm going to quickly put a waypoint down here. Add waypoint name. Uh, I'll put linking book. There we go with a J on the end. And we'll uh, we'll head back. So what I'm going to do really quick before we before we wrap up for this episode is: Do we have any steel plates? We have some steel. We have six. Wow, look at that for for coincidences there. We'll take this six steel and we will compress that up into three um, compressed steel plates. I will get rid of most of this junk that we don't need anymore. Or need on us at this moment in time. Uh, including that, we're definitely going to want to use that division stage because that's really cool. So we'll take that and we will use this stuff to make ourselves a heavy duty pick. And then I'll go ahead and see if we can uh, see if we can break that meteoric iron chunk and get some meteoric iron just to show you that that is how it works. So sticks, let's make ourselves a heavy duty pick. Boom, and I'm going to fly back all the way, all the 500 blocks back to that guy over there. And I'll be back again <laughs> in a second. Okay, here we go. Take two. We've got ourselves a... Oh, God. Careful, it attacks you if you get too close. We've got ourselves a heavy-duty pick. Hopefully, look, we got our first crack a lot faster. There we go. Look at this. This is how it's done. It doesn't take 45 minutes. It took... I was sat here for, like, what felt like five whole minutes last time with the uh, with the, the, the blue pickaxe there, the sapphire one. But uh, this one's done it pretty fast. There we go. We did it. There we go. We got a raw meteoric iron chunk. So... To put this in perspective here, we have one or, uh, raw meteoric iron chunk, which can turn into three throwable chunks, or one meteoric iron ingot. Um, and then, ooh, what are these? Sensor glasses, okay. Sure, why not? Are these for are these for meteoric iron? If they are, then that's pretty cool. If they're not, then it's just kind of pointless. But um, anyway, we compress these up into one compressed meteoric iron plate. So every single, I don't know if you can often get more than one uh, piece of raw meteoric iron from a from a meteor but if you can't that means that we've got to find one of these for each piece of uh for each plate that we use and that means that we need a flipping heck of a lot of them because we need every single one of these heavy duty plates here needs one of them so we need at least eight that's yeah eight there then we need i don't think we need any more for anything else around there so that's just eight for that and then i'm looking at the wrong rocket aren't i we need so we need eight for that, and then we need one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. So we need sixteen of these. We need to go around and find sixteen of these meteoric iron between uh, between this episode and next. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to call the episode there. I am going to go ahead and look. I'm going to scour the moon and see if I can find uh, sixteen more of these. I might look into the sensor glasses to see if they're anything useful. But uh, yeah, I'm going to head home. I'm probably going to put some of my stuff away, and then I'm going to come back with my heavy duty pickup at hand. And we should probably put the schematic away actually, so we don't like lose it and die. But uh, yeah, I'm going to scour the moon in search of those little meteoric iron chunks. See if I can find 16 of them, which is a flipping heck of a lot of them. And the next episode will be back. And hopefully, I mean, to be honest, after that, I think we're pretty much close to, to being able to do stuff. Because I think we have enough enough iron, enough materials, enough uh, like steel, iron, uh, bronze, and aluminium to make another tier 1 rocket. And the tier 2 rocket is basically the tier 1 rocket with a bit of extra um, raw meteoric iron. So... I don't think we're that far away. Right, if I throw, I think I could throw, I can go in here, we can throw in the schematic, unlock schematic. So now we have a tier 2 rocket, there we go, and a tier 1 rocket. We might as well throw the moon buggy in there as well, just for fun. I could probably like drive around on the moon buggy and see if I can find, oh, come on, uh, hello? Uh, hello? Um, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> so there's the moon buggy as well. Well, uh, yeah, that was a bit weird, but we've unlocked all the schematics. We've done what we came out to do. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.